My name is Chris Dancy, and I live in Houston, Texas. This is video two of three on how you can sign up to be a volunteer within your local neighborhood. This system was developed and is being provided to local communities to help them facilitate both the people who have skills and resources with the people who might need help or are homebound. This video is dedicated to how to sign up to be a volunteer. In the third video, we'll go over how the system all works together. So if you're technically inclined or want a bigger picture, make sure to check that out. So first thing I'm going to do is grab my mobile phone and go to a special link to sign up as a volunteer. So I'm going to come in here and click this link. And what we're doing is we're sharing this link within our community. The first thing the volunteer sees is a little bit of information about the community that this person is supporting and then some simple questions about who they are and what they can do to help. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my name in here, my address where I live, Next, my phone number. But now for the uh, really interesting things. So we wanted to have a way that our neighbors and our volunteers who wish to help could go ahead and designate how they want to help. This is very important because if you're requesting help, you might not need someone with high specialty skills to run an errand for you or bring you food or a piece of equipment like a dehumidifier. So it's going to ask you for two things. Your primary skill, the thing you're most skilled at or the thing you'd be most beneficial for for your neighborhood, and your secondary skill. So I'm going to go ahead and select my primary skill. I'll say my primary skill is probably computer, technical nature, for sure. And then for a secondary skill, I'm going to go ahead and list anything I think I could do that could also help out. I'm going to say I could probably be an okay caregiver. You'd have to ask my family or my cat, Luna. She needs a lot of help. Um, but I could probably also help with food prep, for sure. I could probably even drive someone if I had to. All right. Next, is there any other information as a volunteer I want to give? I'm going to say uh, I spend time working in digital health. A little bit about me. And next, it's going to ask for resources. So resources are different than skills. They're things you and your family might have that you could help out if your neighborhood needs them. So I'm going to go ahead here and say, let's see. Well, gosh, I actually have some extra masks. And I have a pulse oximeter if you want to check someone's oxygen level in their lungs. I actually have a lot of sterile wipes. Uh, I actually have a portable humidifier. And I have some extra cold and flu meds. So that's pretty good. Finally, it's going to say, as a volunteer, how do you want us to contact you? Well, I'm going to say you can basically contact me any way you want. And then finally, share my information. Share my information means how do you want the information you just shared shared with the other volunteers and or people requesting help within your neighborhood? I'm going to say on a case-by-case -case basis and hit submit. And it's that simple. Now, my record as a volunteer and what I can offer to my community while we are in our isolation for the next few weeks or however long it is will be recorded and people who need help can go ahead and log a request. If you're interested in how to log a request for help, see video one. Next video, video three, we're going to talk about how all of this works together. If you're technically inclined or you just want to see what's behind the curtain here. Thank you so much. Be well and wash your hands.